Oye, how are you doing today? Mm, I'm kind of experimenting. Let's try to bring you down lower maybe? Even though the lighting is just so glorious up here. I don't know, I'd have to be here the whole time on like, I don't know, I've been trying to like figure out, like do I get a stool? <laughs> Oh. So today, what I have for you is a little bit what I call a sense of humor. My idea is to point out some things to you. This isn't easy for me to do. So if you get something out of this, make sure that you give something back. Now, I suppose to begin, we can call out, I'm trying to think how I can say this in a gentle, kind way. That's probably the hardest thing about it. It's all buried deep within the subconscious. I <laughs> I can only imagine all of your pain and your suffering and all of your understanding. The word imagine, I was taught it means I'm a genie. That basically if you write it down and you understand, you can see how powerful I am, you are, we all are, to have the power to change our minds, our consciousness. There's been many things that's been playing on our consciousness. I want to talk about something so dangerous. And it sounds and looks like this. Did you know it's illegal for me to rip these? Completely illegal. It's illegal to put them down the toilet. Did you know? Did you ever know or hear about what I call poverty consciousness? Have you ever taken the time to truly understand this system, this matrix? We now equate our time, our energy, with financial freedom. It's how we show our honor, our respect. It's how we take care of ourselves. It what pays for our food, our animals, care, our health, our hospitals, right? In one hand and out the other. Now, what I particularly want to do with this, I'm going to help you remember. You're going to remember how important you are, what you really want to do to earn this. What would be worth it for you? What do you really want to do? Think about it. Would you be an architect? Do you want to build? Would you plant trees? Would you go diving? Would you swim the seven seas? Would you do surgery? Would you be a painter? What thing would mean everything more than this? Because I believe if you can imagine and believe in yourself that you can make this doing exactly that. Though if you don't invest in you and save up and understand the value of your time and energy in your hands, this will not buy you another day of life. It might buy you another day of like 
a roof over your head, some food, your cigarettes, whatever you're investing in. Some things that people invest in don't really show themselves or anyone else love. Let's relax a little. <laughs> if we can. So, I know so many people that this is all they care about. It's all they value. They just like, I gotta make money, I gotta make money, I gotta make money. That's what I call poverty consciousness. You say, I want money, I want money, I can't, I won't, I'm broke. These subconscious stories, they're also conscious stories, so they're working back and forth as you choose to program your cells, your mind, your body, the value of your time and your energy. This is so ingrained in our survival that there are people who literally, literally would do evil, unchangeable things. Sometimes things that they would regret. Though, did you know that I cannot buy kindness? I cannot buy understanding. I can't buy friendship. I can try, though it isn't genuine. My intention is for you to make yourself free, to not let this thing own your mind and your body, your time. I would like for you to find ways to smile and to not doubt yourself and to believe that you will have a hundred thousand dollars. How about ten thousand dollars? Will you give yourself permission to earn, to save, to invest in you? Do you believe in yourself that you can? If you can't, I'm here for you. I can help you out. I can help you see. I can help you achieve. I can help you understand marketing, help you understand networking and how to communicate with people, how to be yourself and how to feel comfortable, how to love yourself, how to be there for yourself. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just sensitive. It's kind of what I am, and that's what I make a living out of. No, I don't read hands and predict your future. I just remind you that it's in your hands. And I also remind you what's not in your hands. Try to close your eyes and take a few breaths. See yourself as a little kid. Are they sitting still? Are they running around? What's your little kid doing? Are they a monster? Are you scared to look at them? Do you want to harm them? Or do you want to love them? Do you understand them? It is a choice to even see them. Most people won't withdraw their senses. They're so disconnected from what's worth everything. All this money isn't going to buy all the life. Does that make sense? Do I have to break it down deeper? I shouldn't have to pay people to plant seeds to make apple trees. People are so disconnected, they just want to buy everything. It's all about consume, consume, consume. This can only mean what value we put upon it, what power we give it. I just find it to be a little bit of a disgrace. 
I don't think the smile upon your face has a price. And I know that life is precious and no amount of money can bring back life. At this time, right? <laughs> Welcome to the world technocracy where we're obsessed with playing God and manipulating the weather and telling people that we're their boss. You get over there, here. You gotta do what I say because I have this. <laughs> you see the ridiculousness? It's ridiculous. And still, meaningless, or as meaningful as you give it. Some people choose to use these, these tools as investments, not just into themselves, into the future. They build structures. They buy properties because apparently this land is my land, this land is your land, and this says that it's my land. Trust me, it doesn't make sense to me either. Just take your time. Love, understand. What is love? Love is understanding. What is understanding? Understanding is remembering. Remember, to remember, to re-become one with you passion. You can pass those particles. You can share your love. Sometimes passion comes out as rage and destruction. There's so much rage and destruction. It's brutal. Why would you use this to invest your resources in that? Why would you not use your intelligence towards a system more beautifully built to show motherling love and compassion? It is my intention to make sure that you are fed and not just the best foods. I wish for you to have the best wisdom, best words, the truth. The only truth that I have, the only truth that I know, is my life, my experiences. And I'm so blessed to have like so many that I can call family and I don't mean just blood. And it has taken me a long time to truly know, see and understand the worth. And I'm still learning. It's been scary. I too have lived in poverty consciousness and thinking I wasn't good enough, or that I wasn't enough, or that I would die alone, or that I would never have a husband, and I would never be a wife. I had so many horrible ideas about myself, how I wasn't beautiful unless I wore makeup or did exactly like all the other girls were doing, until I chose to just honor and be myself. All I can do is be that mirror I choose not to say it with words as much as I can. However, since I understand and see so much, sometimes my little kid self can't help but want to play and get involved and try to change and encourage and show you the way how to love yourself, how to be loving, how to understand. Though you cannot understand if you do not choose to ask questions. They say, I believe Bob Marley say, Knowledge isn't free. You have to pay. Pay attention. How many of you are paying your teachers? I am a teacher. Yet you do not choose to pay me to be your teacher. You would choose me as a model, to pay me as a model, as an actress, as a wrestler, as a fighter. Why can't I teach? Must I become a doctor? Will you fund that? Will you invest in that? Will you pay it forward? Have you ever seen that? Some people, they live their whole lives in fear. It saddens me to hear and to see such pain. I understand. I was taught by my fam, my juggalo fam, my uncle Frank, also known as American kickboxer. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I'm so taken back. Like, I was saying, there's no price tag on the worth of life. This paper doesn't really make it happen. It's your love. It's your understanding, your building. I've shared with you on this channel a million Uncle Frank quotes. And I'm frankly, like, I get tired of repeating myself. I've made so many of these and still, still, You cannot see. Allow me. You are loved. You have been loved by being given permission to do and choose and think and be free as you allow. Do you prison yourself with your own thoughts and then blame everyone else These are not really things for you to say out loud and to attack or support. Simply be with yourself. If you can love, <laughs> if you can be with yourself, that's love. You can understand and be with yourself without feeling the need to buy something to do something different to yourself, to change your hair, to carve this in there, or dress like that, or go out like that, or be like that. Do not judge yourself. <sighs> I can already feel this is getting out of hand. So allow me to deal with the hand I have been dealt. If you choose, I'm available for private sessions to properly educate you on poverty consciousness. I do believe in equal energetic exchange as stated a million times before. That means if you choose to invest in me a dollar, I will give you a dollar's worth of what I believe is equal energetic exchange. If you choose to invest $20,000, I promise to enlighten you and to make your time and your energy investment a wise one. Now in closing, allow us to create an intention of you closing your eyes. Now I'd like you to imagine if you had all the money in the world, nobody telling you what to do, no rules, no rules. Even the ones you try to tell yourself, like I have kids, I can't travel, or I can't do this, this person needs me. All these stories, all these accountabilities, the things that you have chosen to take responsibility for and that you feel is your place and your purpose, allow yourself to disconnect from all of those harsh realities and give yourself permission to be a kid inside yourself one more time. Now believe it or not, so many people have never done this before. And if you're one of them, please just close your eyes. It might be hard for you to close your eyes and be alone with what's inside of you. If that's true, I'd love to help you through that too. I am an empath. Hey Oka, some of you really truly know me. I'm happy to be of service to you. So thank you so much for funding me and believing in me and understanding. Now please, let us bring it back for those of you that are still inside yourself. Remember. Now something else more fun, if you already are or aren't seeing things, allow yourself to shift here. Your little kid self, remember them. Did they say they wanted to be a fireman? Did they say they wanted to sleep forever? <laughs> Listen to them. Do they want to be a singer and then 
Mother said she couldn't. Listen to the story. Maybe there's a part of you that was a singer or a dancer or even an athletic person or even someone who just loved to eat or whatever your thing was. Yes, fill your heart with that love for yourself and remember that part of yourself. Do not deny yourself this part of yourself because it enriches you. It makes you strong. Are you meant to be a fighter? Are you meant to help people learn how to defend themselves and how to be kind to themselves and others? What is your intention? What is your will? Now I need you to tune in to one more thing that I believe is very important. Now a lot of times when we go through trauma or we go through some type of event or relationship that makes us so disconnected from ourselves, we lose such a huge part of us. Maybe someone in the family passes away or maybe like, for me, I shattered my ankle and I couldn't really skateboard anymore on the um, <laughs> half pipes and all that. <laughs> I'm like, that didn't stop me. <laughs> so what I'm angling at here is about how when you go through that, sometimes what happens is it goes to the nonverbal side of our brain and how you heal it is by basically doing those things again. For me, I was a writer. And when I was little, my mom would read my diary. And I felt like even my thoughts weren't safe and secure. And that I couldn't even be myself without judgments. And then I became a grown up and society was the same. And every time I would write, I'd rip up the paper and I just wouldn't identify with it anymore. I didn't want to sing, I didn't want to dance. My little girl self wanted to throw herself on the ground and throw a tantrum and scream and shout and, you know, rip things out of the ground. He was trying to show you in all these subconscious ways if anyone would have cared to listen to what she was shouting. Some people saw it without me expressing it. So now, return to your center. That part of you that you stop doing, it's important for you to do those things again and to remember why you stopped and also to allow yourself to push through that and not let it affect you, not let it hurt you. Truly learning to be with yourself and to be able to say thank you. Even the most extreme attacks against yourself, we must find ways of basically looking this in the eye and being able to be kind to it, being able to be with it without screaming, being able to see it in others without running away. That is true love. That is true understanding, not just honesty. There's so many different ways. You can show your love by cooking for someone. You can show your love by doing something nice for someone that they would never do for themselves. You can do something for someone by surprising them. You can love them in ways that they don't know how to love themselves. We only know how to love each other as much as we know how to love ourselves. Some people only know how to love themselves with money. They don't know the beauty of nature. They don't know the beauty of life. They don't understand relationships. They don't want to understand the mind. They don't want to understand psychology. They just want to waste time and go, 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 go. And a lot of times it's all about I, 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 I. And all I want to say is we, 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 we. We, 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 when am I without you? We are one. You love me. I love you. We are one. I love me. You love you. We are one. You love me. Repeat after me. Go slow. We are one. You love me. I love you. I love me. Uh, I can feel this exercise is getting difficult. You can tell when you're lying and you're trying so hard or when you can't even speak. I can help you through this as well. It's one of my favorite things. Thank you so much.
to those who have shared everything with me. I apologize. This is completely unscripted. Joe, it's been in my heart for a while to do this. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Java Guan. I love you.